all right so apparently they're just dropping the info at 8 p.m now um i just got home from work so unfortunately i wasn't able to put this out right away um but yeah the info like why is it switching now like i'm okay with it but like why like it used to drop at like 3 a.m and now it's gonna be dropping 11 p.m my time if that's right 9 p.m pdt i think I don't know. Very confusing. I'll take it, though. It's a huge W for uh, the American uh, audience. But uh, sorry, Beats. You're uh, going to be summoning or getting up at 3 a.m. I, 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 I think he's skipping, honestly. But um, we're getting the new Zeldris. Um, in my opinion, the summon for the other units on the banner, not him. I'll do a whole video on it again, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, it'll probably be like one whole video because I'm going to go over if I think he should be buffed or not. Let me know down below if you guys think he should be. Um, we're getting new content. Uh, the Labyrinth, which I do enjoy it. I got a hair in my mouth. I'll just fight through the pain. Um, I do enjoy it. I haven't done it on JP though because I've just been lazy and I don't care about the account that much. Like I just... I am too lazy to log in, um, but it definitely is fun. I like it. Basically, you start off at level one and you slowly level up your units as you go on, and it's completely free to play. There's no paid aspect. I don't know why people complain about it. I'm pretty sure only whales are complaining about it because it's RNG independent. And I mean, I think free to players would much rather prefer an RNG independent game mode versus them having to whale heavy like the fucking wolves. Let's be real. Uh, the wolves are a fucking joke. Um, but this is how you get the card set for um, the freeze immunity one, which I think is later on down here. Yes, this one. Uh, so in Demonic Beast Battle, it increases allies' basic stats by X percent, depending on your level. Um, and when the ultimate move gauge has five orbs or more, removes and becomes immune to freeze. And then your, your basic stats go up to max at 10%. So this is a very must-have card, so in my opinion, I think it's very, very good. It's not perfect, because uh, he can obviously um, infect you, then you can't heal, they can still uh, freeze you, even, and then rem or remove your ultimate gauge, and then freeze you. So there are some uh, things that you're going to have to work with, but it definitely will make it more easier. So I assume the unit that we're going to be getting is not going to be immune to freeze. You're going to have to use a card set for The deer is going to be able to drop a card. This is from the World Tree, apparently. This Meliodas card set, you are going to have to buy for 10,000 PvP coins. So do not spend your PvP coins tonight. Um, and then Tower Trials, 422, so make sure you do that. And then I guess you just buy the one card from one of the village material shop. Uh, now let's go back up um the labyrinth is just right down here and then these are all the passives which is uh or no, no not, not the passive the uh it, it, if you've seen a picture of it like you go through this little like maze kind of thing you know, do, 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 and there'll be little items or like areas but the, you start on one and then there's three things in front of you that you can choose to go to and then you beat that and then they'll open up two in front of you these are the things that you end up clicking. Sorry, very bad example, but that's all I can really do. Um, some of these increase your ultimate removal. Some of them increase your level by 10. That's what this one does. Uh, this gives you two awakening stars, and eventually it looks like super awakening. Um, this increases your ultimate level, which I think is the, probably the most useless one. Uh, full heals you. Uh, clear to move on to the next level. That's the boss battle. Underground Labyrinth Shop. Revives the hero, which is the one that was breaking my game. So if you don't have any units that are uh, dead and you click on it, it will just crash your game. So don't do that. Um, and then you can acquire, acquire or exchange heroes. A random battle it starts a normal battle and a panel randomly appears. So it's very, very good. Uh, this is most appreciated global jp didn't show this shit so um yeah uh we got zelda's outfits these two are really really good i can't lie i'm not a fan of this one but i know people will definitely like it this one just looks horrible i why pink and not purple like the like, it's just so pink uh, it this should have been like all black with dark purple I don't know. That would have looked better, but yeah. Either way, we move. Zelda has good items. Um, ooh, this is what Chandler's Relic looks like. So Chandler's going to be getting a Holy Relic, where if you uh, stance, it removes debuffs from self when using a stance skill and decreases damage taken by 30% for two turns and increases the HP related stats by 20%. It doesn't say PvP only, so I think this can work anywhere. So he might be a really good taunt unit for Bird, if you're looking for that. Only last one turn, unfortunately, at uh, rank 1. 
Um, but you know, realistically, you only need a turn one taunt unit nowadays just for that one sweep. You do half his HP, he sweeps you, and then you don't take any damage, and then you kill him the next turn. Or you just ult rush and you just kill him in one turn. Um, we're getting a system update, which you can close, you can delete your entire fucking account. You can resend your action to close the account in the game through the menu. Oh, so you can actually cancel that, so that way if somebody hacks your account and deletes it, you can save it! Wow! BBS, fucking add this. My friend's account got deleted, and he can't get it back, and it's been about two weeks, and he just can't do anything. So, Goat Marble, sheesh. I was wondering why they added that, but now, hey, you have 30 days to get your account back if it gets deleted. That's fine. I mean, hey. Um, so they aim f they fix some bugs, cool beans, um, Assault Mode, Berserk, Meliodas, what is the difference? If all in battle are demons, those are commandments. The defense related stat stays for three turns, so they buffed Meli, ayo, hey, I didn't know that they actually did that. Um, Berserk, Esterosa, increases Ali's basic stats by 5% for every darkness, or, inc oh, so they buffed him, they actually shadow buffed him. Not actually shadow, because they actually told it, but, hey, they, they, they buffed the boy. Um... And then apparently new events. Um, oh yeah, a free multi, uh, some stuff, cool beans. Um, we're getting a new free derriere outfit, which I actually really like this one. It, it, it looks really good. I can't lie. I don't really like the green. I kind of wish it was red, but obviously it's just like a reskin version of the older one. But I like it. It looks nice. Um, you can get it by exchanging these things. I hate this event. It's super uh, tedious and annoying to do all these little things. Um, you can exchange for some in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna actually, like, save this because, like, okay, that's cool, I guess. Just show my entire thing right there. That's cool. I'm gonna have to go into back into recording and make sure that didn't show anything important. Thanks, Google, and whatever the hell my PC is. Like, oh, it's always over here, but now it, it closes out over here. Like, why? I, I, I don't understand. Uh, Final Boss Twigo is here. Super easy. You can put on auto with, like, a bomb team and just one-tap it. Uh, get top 50%. You're Gucci. Get 10, 30,000 points. You get all these. Very easy. Uh, we're getting the... Uh... What is it called? Uh, Candy Crush game mode? I think that's what it's called. Um, decent rewards. No OG mats in here, unfortunately. So that's kind of an L, not going to lie. But if you get 500,000 accumulative score, I believe you get OG Zeldris' outfits. Unless it's a new Zeldris, but I don't think it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, boosting events. Here's some... The daily tasks are boosted, I think. Yeah, so some of them you get some extra diamonds, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like not too much. Uh, Brawl Victory Box is... They still have this stupid thing. That, like, d dude, this this still isn't worth it. Like, honestly, like... Why can you not just, like, keep it like this? This is how it should be all the time. Um, and then we have this. You get two free tickets. Very nice. Top 100 nobody cares about. Soldiers for... Fort Soldiers Dungeon is here. Very nice. Um, these new Archangel outfits are back. And the new Demon set, or old Demons one. The old ones, my bad. Not new, but old ones are back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Demon Melee, Liz, and Jericho are back. The outfits, I mean, they're also on the banner. So, I mean, if you pull them, that's a W for the first time. If you get duped for them, though, unlucky. Um, and I think that is about it. So, yeah. Pretty darn good update, I can't lie. Like, they bring you a lot of stuff with this. Uh, I, I think this is a really good update. In my opinion, I, I think it's pretty good. You know, they fix some stuff, etc., etc. Grand Crest did pretty good with everything except the unit. Take care and peace out.